In this video, I will show you how to complete lesson six, exercise one, learn to work with comments. So click on lessons, click on lessons at the bottom, click the last one called manage document collaboration and click start. Manage document collaboration. On the following page, we'll click the first exercise, learn to work with comments. So click on learn to work with comments. In this exercise, we will add comments, reply to a comment, and delete a comment. Click Start. All right, here we go. So we're gonna make sure our cursor is at the beginning of the document. Let's click at the top. And we're gonna to go to the Review tab, and we're gonna click on New Comment. New Comment. In the comment below at the right, we're gonna copy and paste the words from step number two, add more space between the heading and paragraph. Let's paste it into that box. And then we'll click the post comment arrow. And it looks like a paper airplane. Right, now we're gonna to move to the beginning of the only exception to this. The only exception to this paragraph, here it is. One, two, three, the fourth paragraph down move to the beginning of it and add another comment. So let's click new comment. And this time we'll copy and paste. Would it help to show the folder structure? Copy and paste and click post. All right, this exercise has three questions. We've just done the first one. So click submit to go to question two. Now on the review tab, we're gonna click next in the comment group to have word move to the first comment. So next is a speech bubble with the right arrow. There we go. And we're gonna click in the text field now and we're gonna type done. We're gonna pretend like that is done and click post. And now on the review tab in the comments group, we're gonna click next again to go to the next one. About showing the folder structure and in this one let's copy and paste no, I don't think so. We'll just answer our own comments here. And let's click the reply button. We've now completed question two. Click submit. And on to question three. On the review tab, we're going to click next one once more to go back to our first comment. And we're going to click the three dots at the top of the comment box. And let's choose that to mark it as resolved. So click the three dots resolve thread. Now it shows that it's done. And then we're going to click on the three dots for the next comment. And this time we're going to choose delete thread, delete thread. And that is it. Click submit. And since it's our last question, click finish. Give it a moment to load and you should have three green bubbles. So you can click finish and back to my lesson.